Hey guys, I wanted to cover some features uh, that have caught me out completely on this Drift uh, Ghost uh, camera. As you know I've got two, one is helmet mounted and this one which is mounted on the pillion hard cover. Now you've got to bear in mind that these are not set up as dash cams out of the box. They are set up so you can use the wrist wearable remote control and if you want to record something you can just press the record button and if you don't want to record something you just press the stop button uh, on, the, on the control. Now this caught me out completely and uh, we're just going to fire this up. I'm trying to do this sat behind the camera so it's not the easiest thing to do but I'm hoping you'll be able to see uh, the menus, um, <laughs> which I can't, looking at the screen. Anyway, so uh, what happened was I had set both of these up. I would put them on the bike, uh, get ready, uh, and then turn them on, and then press the record button. And you can see here you have the uh, amount of memory left, which is 23%, and you can see an SD card is obviously fitted, and you can see the battery level and you can also see the mode that it's in uh, you know video camera uh, 1080p 30 frames per second the field of view is 160 degrees and the exposure is on zero I have not adjusted the exposure a compensation so now I thought that by pressing the record and uh, going off for whatever a long ride uh, would be uh, sorry the screen's just timed out there as it's supposed to I thought if I press record now uh, that will just carry on recording uh, until the battery runs out or I press stop uh, what I didn't realize is uh, this is not set up out of the box to loop record uh, and I found out the other day uh, when I heard couple of bleeps that the uh, the camera had actually switched itself off while I was riding uh, because the memory had run out on the SD card it did not start uh, a loop again so uh, obviously no use this needs to be changed to dash cam uh, mode uh, and yet again I was caught out there and we'll just go into the menu system so you've got menu left and right and enter so we'll just bring up the menu uh, you've got these I think if we go to I'm going to go to general settings first because I really can't remember where this is uh, that's the main settings screen yeah it might actually be on the video recording mode oh, it's a screen yeah it is so to get out of that you just press menu again and this time I'm going to go into the record settings and I want the first one which is the video camera so we've got resolution frame rate field of view exposure self timer I think the next screen is the important one okay here we go car DVR mode okay now you must go into that by pressing the uh, enter key and you'll see a couple of choices it can either be ticked or it can be M now I ticked it and I uh, thought that was correct and then I saw that car DVR interval uh, and I assumed that it would record clips of 10 minutes and obviously I'm completely mistaken with that if you tick if you select the tick and select 10 minutes all that's going to happen is you'll press record you'll set off and then 10 minutes later this is going to turn itself off the tick means that you are connecting it to the car with a charging lead so as soon as you turn the ignition on uh, this will sense that it will turn on and it will go into recording mode when you turn the ignition off uh, this will sense that and it will stop recording uh, and turn off but 
it will only do so after the time you set here. So that is the off time if you're using it in a car or a bike connected to switchable power. Now to get it to stay on you need to select M which I assume is manual and uh, that means you have to uh, manually turn it on and manually turn it on to record. At the moment I charge the battery fully before a journey and I also keep two spares with me for the longer journeys on uh, on a Sunday with the uh, IAM guys. Okay, so you must set that to M for manual. Now the loop recording is uh, somewhere else which I can't remember now. Let's have a look. Just going to go back out and into the general settings again as I found it somewhere. Now you can save these settings and you can load previous settings so if you want to uh, use this for maybe you want to use it in the car maybe you want to use it on your bike maybe in the car it will be wired up permanently and maybe on the bike it will only be on battery so I could save this now as my bike settings uh, and then I could set it up completely differently for the car and I could save that. You've got three, uh, three positions uh, to save settings and then next time you use it you can load one of those three settings. Well, let me just find these this loop setting. It's a bit embarrassing that I can't find it. No, can't. Let's go back into that one again. I'm just going to go to that third option there. I'm just not sure what that is. Time lapse. No, definitely don't want time lapse. Back out. Let's go to the video settings again. Resolution, frame rate, field of view, exposure. Uh, yeah, just wondering if I'm uh, because I've set it to manual. That is now the loop time. This is explained in the manual, so it might be worth. I haven't got it unfortunately to hand, uh, but because that's in manual mat now, that might be the record interval. I'm just going to go into it. Yeah, actually, it is now. Uh, this is the record loop. Uh, sorry, the it will record for one minute, three minutes, five minutes or ten minutes and then it will start a new clip. So if you're doing an hour's journey at ten minutes per, uh, per clip you're going to end up with six clips stored on the uh, on the camera. Um, so yeah that is pretty much that but it would be very easy to be caught out and find that the thing's turning itself off uh, because there's no power to it because you've put it on the tick which is automatic and that is a bloody nuisance when you're riding along I've had to pull over a number of times before I really understood what was going on so yeah just remember guys if you've got the Drift Ghost S it is not set up as a standard dash cam uh, as you might expect it to be out of the box but it is very simple to uh, to set up so hey, I hope that helps uh, anyone with uh, a similar <laughs> issue. I suspect a more thorough read of the instructions would have uh, would have helped. But uh, yeah, there we go. Hope that helps, and I'll catch you later.